But what we talked about in the class, I'm going to go ahead and record it so you guys have it and you can watch it again and again. Um, yeah, and I can see that, you know, quite a bit of you guys might have a little bit issue with the, this uh, programming logic controller and the later logic. And the reason is it is a very new concept to you guys. And uh, a lot of uh, the folks in the industry, the electrical engineers, they have also uh, have hard time um, have a hard time with uh, the PLCs, okay? So let's start with uh, this concept and I hope that, you know, we talked about in the class and now when you guys have this video, it will get solid, all right? And that is half of the PLC, you know, that is the hardest um, section uh, on the PLC. So, so PLCs, we have inputs, as we said in the previous, uh, in the previous lecture and we have output okay now you need to watch the whole lecture all right if you guys are watching just the previous lecture half of it then you're not going to learn the whole concept so you need to watch the whole video the one the lecture one all right so we have input and we have output so in previous you know in, in, a little while ago what was what we were using is we were using a relays and the problem with the relays was that it was hardwired so you would have 50 80 100 relays and they would be all hardwired uh, for controlling various machines in the industry and when there would be a problem um, it would be very hard to troubleshoot uh, of course if there are 80 relays uh, then you know it, it's going to be hard to find out which relay is having an issue and when this PLC came out, what we do is we write a program and then that program is controlling the input and output. And the beauty of the PLC is that you can control with one input multiple outputs. Or you can control with one put just a single output. The another beauty is that the PLC is not hardwired to the output. Right? is not hardwired the decisions are made logically as we said I have I have an input so let's say this is a, uh, a switch and this is a light if I want to control this light with this switch I push this button and this light is on and they are not connected via wires okay they are connected via logic I can turn on another light with the same input and they will not be connected but in relay control they would be connected through wires so the relay control the old relay control the mechanical relays it was uh, expensive hard to troubleshoot uh, and slowly now these are replaced by the modern computers which are the PLCs okay what I want you guys to learn in this small lecture, uh, I'm dividing these lectures into sections so they are not too big. What I want you guys to learn is this, okay? You can have a normally open switch. Simply it means it is normally open. When you close it, it is on, all right? Then we have another switch which is normally closed. So it is closed, but if you press it, it opens, okay? So we have these two kind of switches. Now let's talk about logically. We have this, this uh, instruction and that is normally open, okay? Then we have another instruction and that instruction is normally closed, okay? These are two real life switches. These are logical instructions. And let's see how do we connect these two guys. Okay. How do we connect these two guys? I am, you know, it's much different just for sake of understanding. Let's say how do we connect real, uh, these two, uh, these two real life switches with these instruction so let me make a very very simple 
uh, PLC program, okay? So this is a very, very simple PLC program. And let's say we got a normally open switch. So this is a normally open switch that you would have buy from Lowe's or Home Depot or from any other shop, all right? What I'm saying is, if this guy is open, all right, if this guy is open, this is open, and let's say this is a light, this light will not be on, okay? So let's say when this is open, this is zero, okay? This is open too, so it is zero. So this light is off. Point number one, okay? Think of it is this way. There is multiple ways that people think of these normally open and normally closed, but think think it this way, the way I'm teaching, all right? Now, let's say we close this switch. So when it is closed from zero, let's say it turns into one, it turns on. This guy, this instruction is still normally open, all right? As we go, we will talk about that the status, the status of the status of this switch change from zero to one, and it is that status has changed in the random access memory, and the CPU has noticed that, and then the CPU make the logical decision to turn on that light. But let's not go there. Okay, let's understand it in a very basic and simple form. All right, so. What we are saying is this switch, which was zero when it was open, and now we close it. So let's say it is, we are representing this by one. When it is closed, it is on, let's say. This is one and this is zero, all right? We are not gonna change anything. When it is open, we just gonna call it zero. We got one and zero, what? Just think of it that one and zero when we have one and zero, the output is on. And what is that output? This output. So he will be on. Okay. Now, let me repeat that. We got the real life switch. I have a simple PLC program, which is this guy. Okay. This is zero because it is open. In the PLC program, this is a normally open instruction, and we are just representing it by zero, all right? When this is zero and this is zero, the light is off. When we close this guy, so this guy is closed, a state change into one. One and zero, whenever you have one and zero, what you get? You will get this light to be on. All right. Now, when we close this switch, when we close this switch, he become one. This doesn't change. Just think of it for now that this doesn't change. So this is zero. So one and zero give us the light on. But zero, when it is open, so this is zero. And this is zero, the light is off. Okay. Now, this was normally open switch. Now let's talk about normally closed switch. So this is normally closed switch, okay? And let's say we have this normally open instruction. All right. This is closed, so this is one. This is open. See, this guy is not open. So one and zero. Is this light is going to be on? Yes, it's going to be on because we got one and zero and that light is going to be on. Now, this is normally closed. That is in real life, normally closed switch. And then we have normally closed and then we have output, right? So now this is one and this is one. Is this light is going to be on? No, it's going to be off. It's going to be zero off. All right, so 
We are not talking about wires, guys. We are not. If it was a wire, that light would be on, of course. If this is a closed switch, and it is connected to a light, a real life wire right here, then this light is going to be on. We are not talking about that. We are talking about logic and real life switches. Yeah. Scroll down. All right, so let me quickly, I don't want to make this a very big video, so let me quickly uh, talk about this again. So I got normally open switch in real life, and I got these two instructions, okay? So I got this guy, and I got this guy. So we got an output okay now this is zero and this is zero this light is going to be off what about this light this light is going to be on because zero and one would give you one okay i got normally closed switch all right and give this So this is normally closed. So let's say this is one, okay? This is zero, this light is going to be on, okay? This is one and this is one right here. One and one, this light is going to be off. So what we have, we have again a normally open, all right? And then we got these two instruction, zero, zero whatever output is connected is off zero one whatever output is connected is on again i have a normally closed switch and i got these two guys one zero output is on one zero output is off sorry one and one output is off this is what you guys need to learn, okay? And I am going to show you this practically on a PLC program. So in the next lecture, I will write a program so you guys can see it, all right? We are talking about fundamentally the very basic. You know, what happens is uh, as we go, we will see that when we turn on this switch, it turns on from zero to one the bit changes from zero to one and the cpu see that and it update the status of in a memory and according to that the status of the output is updated so we will talk about that as we go but now we are at the very uh, low level and as we go we will